Philadelphia police are hoping will help them find the killers of a gas station employee. Three masked men storm into a mini mart in Taconi and attack the 66-year-old store clerk. Tonight, the search for the brazen men is underway. Thursday night in the big story on Action News is the latest on a deadly gas station shooting two days ago and how police are hoping the public may somehow recognize the suspects. Action News reporter Brianna Gallagher is live from Philadelphia Police Headquarters with more. Brianna. Yeah, Rick. Well, in the video, you can clearly see the three suspects enter the Exxon gas station. One of them is clearly showing a gun. Homicide detectives just released this surveillance video from inside the Exxon on the 7100 block of Torresdale Avenue, where the 66-year-old Saboram Patro, a gas station employee, was shot and killed. One by one, the suspects enter the Exxon. The third suspect approaches the counter and immediately opens fire. One of the men then kicks down the door. They later leave with a cash register. It, it was very sad. It was tragic. Um, the, the, the member that, that was uh, unfortunately uh, assassinated there, he was well liked by the community. Uh, he knew a lot of the kids from the neighborhood on a one-on-one -on -one basis. A couple of dollars, you want to kill your somebody like their family. I mean, if you need some money, take that money, don't kill somebody. There's three individuals that entered the gas station overnight. Um, it appeared to be an attempted robbery, but during that uh, incident, the, uh, the clerk was, was shot and killed. Two days following the shooting and an annual meeting for the community at the Roosevelt Playground in Chaconi, the deadly shooting was addressed. At the end of the day, he did deserve to have his life taken. And I believe that whatever triggered it or whatever the reason was, it was unnecessary. Residents want to see change, while law enforcement encourage more people to come out so their voices are heard. My biggest message to the community is um, they can help themselves a lot by helping us identify the issues within their communities and issues that we can help them with. We're working on a daily basis to try to deter a lot of the crime that's occurring. Now their next meeting is scheduled for January 30th and we did speak with the manager of the Exxon gas station this evening. He says they're in the process of installing security gates and they will soon be operating window service only during certain business hours. For now we're live outside of police headquarters. Brianna